Kids, is that sign almost ready? Yes, Daddy. Dang it. He ain't home. Put this in your bag and hang on to it. These people can get aggressive. But that's what happens when they choose to live a life of sin. When man chooses to lie with man, the devil gets inside them and they become vicious. They allow the devil to corrupt them. Paint the hearts black. John, God wants to paint our hearts white. To purify us. Make us clean enough to live in his glory. Science done. Good job, honey bunnies. John, what does God say about homosexuality? That it's wrong. And how does God feel about sinners? He hates when we sin. He hates people who sin. God hates sinners. God hates sinners. God hates sinners. And a sinner has moved across the street from us. A homosexual flooding our streets with vile and putrid. Is this what your church does? We let the world know that they are sinners. You're gonna love it with us, John. We have so much fun. We hang out on the weekends. We, we grill out hamburgers, hot dogs. Well, and I make a mean hot dog too. We roast them wieners like, like, like fags in a fiery pits of hell. Daddy, he's home. Showtime. Baby, give me that sign. God hates sinners. God hates fags. Fags will burn in hell. And it's our jobs to tell them that. So that they might know, turn from their wicked ways, and be saved. Hey, you there. I know what you are. Whoa, whoa. What in the world? You moved into a nice, clean neighborhood with good God-fearing Christians. You're polluting our streets with your wickedness and butridity, with your sin and betrayal of the Lord. Who in the world are you? I'm Saul Duggan, leader of the Clear Waters Church, and I'm here to remind you that God's wrath will fall upon you because of your wicked ways. My wicked ways? Man, you don't even know me. God knows you. And God knows the evil in your heart. The evil in my heart? You don't know what's in my heart. I'm not the one standing around with a sign shooting accusations at people. I'm a good person. <laughs> You're a good person. Listen to me. God made man and God made woman and they shall be one flesh. If man lie also with mankind, as with womankind, then he is committed an abomination. He shall be put to death. Whoa. Put to death? God doesn't want to put me to death. How do you know I'm gay anyway? God hates homosexuality. God hates sinners. God hates fags. And therefore God hates you. Unless I turn from my wicked ways. Listen, man. God doesn't hate me. I'm not going to God hell. hates you! God doesn't hate me. Yes, he does! God hates you! You are a sinner, and you're going to hell. Let him without sin cast the first stone. How dare you use the word of my Lord against me! God does hate you, and you are going to hell. You know what? Maybe God hates you, and you're going to what? hell. What? pits of hell. John, what are you doing? 
He is a sinner. God wants you to hate sinners. There is a time and a season for everything. What? What are you doing? There's a time to kill, and there's a time to heal. There's a time to break down, and a time to build up. There's a time to rip, and a time to mend. There's a time to hate, and there's a time to love. He's gay. God hates him, and he deserves punishment. Don't we all? Come on, girls. Let's wipe the dirt from our feet and leave. Hey, man, uh, I'm so sorry about this. Uh, let me go get you some more groceries. Oh, you don't have to do that, man. No, please, let me. I was just holding a sign that said God hated you. Uh, I feel like my hands are pretty well covered in uh, putridity. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. Um, I'm driving, though. Name's right. Adam. John. John? Come on. Thanks. Just doing what I was asked to do. A time to kill and a time to build. A time to tear down and time to build up. A time to rip and a time to mend. A time to hate.